because I even went and got this to go with it. Okay, now I'm on like my third video. So I was talking about how my Speedy 35. This is the L. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. A bean. Am I saying that right? Damier bean. Sorry, the E. D E. And what I really loved about these was it's a great looking fall bag because it's a dark brown, dark tan. Um, it has the beautiful red interior. And the only thing is, is it's really shapeless. I mean, the Speedy 30 is too, but I don't know. It seems more manageable. This is so big. I really need to find me a good um, purse organizer. And there's a company I'd talk to if they were serious. I hope they are. They're called Cloverleaf, I think. And they asked if I would like to... Um, review one of their um purse organizers and i said better yet send a couple and i'll i'll give one away to one of my subbies so that's supposed to be coming so that would be a sponsored video but i'm gonna do an honest review i've never done a sponsored video but anyway okay so then the other thing i got i for this you know what i was talking about was sometimes when you make collections of things you get everything that goes with it and I invested in getting this um, Zippy wallet. And it's the one that has the... I can't remember the name of this pattern. It's not Windy Day. What is that pattern name? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's got a little yellow and orange on the bottom. It's really, really cute. It's just the Zippy. I've got the regular LV monogram in the same style. Cards, money, and receipts like everybody else. But so I invested in that piece to be in here. And what else did I get? Not a keychain. Oh, uh, I think I even showed this to you guys. It was a cosmetic. Well, they called it a wristlet, but y'all, it was like this big. But it was dwarfed by this big old bag. And um, because I even have that goes with the wristlet, and I have it on the end of this bag for some reason. I guess because I could hook it on my keys. It just looks cute. But then I also got, I thought this was going to be an agenda cover, right? And I was going to <clears throat> fit my um, Erin Condren in it. No go, baby. Look how big this thing is, how wide this is, and how little that is. So that didn't go. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just get a regular, um, you know, um, calendar and fit it in here. But instead, I have put in it one of my favorite of all times, um, devotionals and I'm thinking about doing this on Bethy Bible devotions and that is Rebecca St. James 40 days with God and I absolutely love her adore her in every way she's the most godly pure young lady I think she's from Australia is that where she's from um, she was very big about gosh has it been 15 20 years ago has it been that long anyway um, the album that came out that I fell in love with was the, the album God. Yeah, yeah, it has been that long ago because that was the album. Oh, and I think maybe it came on the back of this too. I don't know. I need to dig out that CD. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. She really brings up some fantastic stuff. So I decided to see if this fit in here so I could go order a, a calendar that fit in. And I thought, why would you order a calendar when you got an Aaron Condren? Why don't you just order a little notebook that you can you know write in just use this as you know a place to take notes or something then I thought why don't you just use this as a daily devotion place so that's what I'm going to do and I think I'm going to use it for Bethy Bible devotion what do y'all think of that and I had to show y'all this too um I have been doing a lot of plan with me's or I back to back a couple of plan with me's and so I didn't know if y'all would want to see me do another plan with me that close because I did this one which is just lovely y'all I fell in love with this and look at those soft beautiful colors love 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 that one and so this week I wanted to do something a little brighter and this is um Magnolia Boulevard and I wanted it to be really summery and watermelons always so awesome. Either 4th of July, this would have been good, or just right now, summery. This or lemonade patterns or sunflower patterns, both of which I have coming up. Because we're coming into fall soon, my favorite time of year. But isn't this the cutest with these little watermelon themes? Look at the little rind washi that came with it. Rind there, seeds, seeds, um, watermelons seeds seeds on the bottom or little slices on the bottom and look how it always comes with these little hydration stickers right there and meal stickers i really love her stuff i mean i really really do 
She is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I love Elle Fowler's The Glam Planner, and I love um, this um, Magnolia Boulevard. And then what was the other one I really love lately? The uh, Black Beard Prince, I think is what it's called. Anyway, so I've got some other ones, and I'm not sure which one to do next. So I was just going to ask y'all which one you want. Oh, I don't know. This isn't even them. Oh, yeah, it is. No, am I going to use that? I don't know. All right, so let me get them. One is this. I think this is probably going to be next, just because, you know, that was watermelon. This is lemons for lemonade. And look at the gold glitter. Isn't that pretty? So that's one of them. And then this is another one. This is Magnolia Boulevard again. But this reminds me so much of Hawaii. It's got little palm trees. It's in peach and purple. This is a really unusual color combo. That's the only thing I was like, that's a really unusual color combo. So let me kind of pull that up so you can kind of see it. But see, it's got the hibiscus flower right there. And the um, um, there's the color combo uh, checklists. But look at the little palm tree. And just It's really, really pretty. So that'd be great for, you know, end of summer as well. So either one of those. There's a sunflower one I just got, but I don't, I don't know where I put it. It may be next. I don't know. Or this one. This is from Glam Planner. And look at this. Every summer has a story of its own, so i got to fit that in. Um, and these are kind of like muted pictures of things like oranges, mangoes, pineapples, hibiscus. There's a little cocktail up there. I probably won't promote that. But um, it's there. So that one's cute. That's all colors. So I think that's really pretty too. So, you know, you guys, I don't know where the sunflower one is. Did I not put it in here in my little thing in the back? Nope. Well, that I don't know. I don't know where it is. Take like a piece of coffee. Now, let me tell you something. I think it's only right that I eat a few more of these in your presence in case it's not something we should eat. These are weird. Hold on, I'm going to show you these. Again, I was very surprised by this. Look at it. It looks like squirrel food. And this is that Shifa Zesty Snack Mix. This is chickpea noodles, roasted corn, and toasted sunflower seeds. Oh, I see them. Okay, so there's, there's some sunflower seeds. This is the toasted corn. And this is the little chickpea. That's the weirdest flavor, y'all. What is that flavor? I can't tell you what it is. But I would say ground chickpeas, roasted corn, sunflower seeds, sunflower oil, spices, and sea salt. I wish I knew what the spice was because it's not sea salt that I'm tasting. This is like... I don't know. It's really good though. Again, it's savory. It's not sweet. It's not even super salty. It's just very savory. Which is kind of nice for a snack. I think I'm going to have to get these y'all. I got it by Shefa. Or Shefa? Have y'all heard of that? And the other one was these. I'm going to have to get these too. Is this um, cinnamon honey roasted coconut chips. And I got to tell you, the cinnamon honey is very, oops, um, prevalent. Now there's the undertaste of the coconut, the cinnamon coconut. That's an idea for a, co a cake, a cinnamon coconut cake, or cupcakes. So I'm dropping everything. And last but not least, I think I'm definitely going to get these dipping chips, the veggie kale carrot and spinach. It does kind of taste like I'm eating a salad, but I think it would make me feel better, especially since they're little scoops for my dips. <laughs> it tastes like, I don't know, spinachish? Yeah. Like a spinach dip. 
it tastes like spinach dip. That's what it is on a chip. So you would not want to put this with spinach dip because it would just taste like dip on chip. And I don't know that you could differentiate my Rotel. One can of hot Rotel chilies. You find it in the like vegetable aisle, canned vegetable aisle. Sometimes they've been on the Mexican aisle where beans and things are. But anyway, wherever you find chilies, Rotel is the brand. Hot. Don't get mild. It will be awful. It'll be like drinking tomatoes with cream. And you get a little um, tub of the little size tub. This is that a pint? What is that? Of whipped cream cheese. <clears throat> If you can get fat free, that will make you feel better. Because you can even dip like Frito corn chips or this, which would be a little healthier. Um, or celery sticks or carrots in it. And it's a really nice, kind of salty snack to have that's super easy and addictive. Oh, y'all. Everybody will want your food. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I can't edit, so that's staying in. So anyway, um, well, you've had my burp for the evening. I've told you my favorites. Taught you about everything. I had to light my little candle here for fall, which is the Heirloom Pumpkin by Illum. And I will see you again soon, you guys.